I think a lot of people, when they use lighter fluid, they want to douse everything and they want a big flaming inferno and they think that's the only way to get these things going, but that, that's really not the case and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of dangerous, it smells bad, it's crazy. And I've actually singed my beard before, which is not cool. How you doing? My name is Jay Pereira. I'm your neighborhood grill enthusiast. I'm going to show you how to properly light a charcoal grill without any lighter fluid or any tricks or anything like that. First thing you want to do is you want to get down below your charcoal grate. So you get down to the bottom of your grill here. So I'm going to take a couple sheets of the local paper. Now I like to I like to wad them up. You know, not not too tight, not too loose, just a good ball though, because you need some air flowing to keep that stuff going. Now I'm gonna create another little pile of paper here on top. Add some twigs. You know, you just want like, you know, about three, four inches, just some dry twigs I find around the yard. You don't have to be fancy about it. Today we're gonna be using standard charcoal briquettes. I like to kind of surround my fire with a good amount of briquettes, kind of creating a little bit of a pyramid, but you don't want to smother it because you still want to get some air in there. Once you get everything in place, you want to light the paper that's underneath first. I like to light around a couple spots, make sure you get it good and going. This is a pretty healthy fire. Like It's good to have the flames come up above the charcoal because then you, you know you're definitely getting good contact. Again, you just want a couple of these things to start getting ignited, start heating up, and once that happens, then the rest will follow suit. I don't know the, I don't know the science behind all this stuff, but I know that it works, so that's science enough for me. I think one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people have and why a lot of people like to use lighter fluid is because they don't have patience. But even with lighter fluid, it still takes 15, 20 minutes to get these charcoals going. At this point, you can see we have a really hot fire going right in the middle. This is where I'm gonna rearrange these guys. Some of these ones on the outside that aren't going as well, I'm gonna start putting them in the middle. Please use tongs or something, a gloved hand. Don't grab these things. I see some people do some dumb shit. If you feel like you're gonna need more briquettes, now's a good time to actually add some as well. That's a hot ass fucking fire. It takes generally about 20 minutes to before you have a good cook fire going. That's when all these briquettes are gray and ashy. Yeah, no, we're in a good place here. This is gonna be a great fire for cooking. I'm just gonna move these guys aside, kind of divide it down the middle. I'll put the top grate back on. So there you go. That's how you properly start a charcoal grill with no lighter fluid and uh, just stuff you got around the house. I just became that guy, like, whenever I went places, like, nobody knew how to light a grill, nobody do that shit, so I ended up, I go to parties, and the next thing you know, I'm just hanging out by the fucking grill, you know? <laughs>